Officials in Beijing are distancing the government from a commercial that's been widely condemned as racist. The ad for laundry detergent shows an African man's black color being washed off. China's foreign ministry says the commercial has not affected relations with African governments. CCTV's Rowie Ruttenberg reports. At first, it looks like a harmless flirtation. A Chinese woman washing her clothes, luring in an African worker who's been painting her home. But instead of a kiss, he's given a tablet, laundry detergent, then dunked into a washing machine. Moments later, he emerges Asian. The suggestion, his color has been washed clean. On Monday, Chinese officials tried to distance the government from the controversy and from the potential fallout. We have maintained incredibly friendly relations with all peoples of different nationalities and different races in this world, as well as all of their countries. We share mutual respect and equal treatment with them. As far as I know, this is an isolated, uncompromising act by a commercial company. She says no government has yet lodged a complaint and hailed China's, quote, brotherly relations with African countries. In a statement issued over the weekend, Shanghai Leixin Cosmetics expressed, quote, regret that the ad caused controversy, adding we will not shun responsibility for controversial content. We express our apology for the harm caused to the African people because of the spread of the ad. But some foreigners living in Beijing think it's not enough. They should apologize much for, uh, you know, more strongly than at that, I think. Um, and I think that sort of, it's classic of the attitude sort of, to race in China today, that they, no one saw that as a problem before and they're still not really giving out a full-on apology. Um, I think that's pretty typical. I think it might be because that we don't have much history of, people, uh, of black people fighting against discrimination here in China. And that's why uh, many people here are lack of the awareness of how sensitive this topic is. But of course, it doesn't mean that Chinese people are against the idea that everyone is equal and should be respected. Because China uses Chinese media platforms like Yoku, which are rarely visited by foreigners, the ad went virtually unknown for months. It wasn't until it was uploaded to YouTube and other platforms, where millions saw it in recent days, that the controversy exploded. The official version released by the cosmetics company has since been removed, but copies continue circulating online of what some have called, quote, the most racist ad in the world. Rowie Rettenberg, CCTV in Washington. Well, this ad has generated a lot of reaction worldwide, including in China. CCTV's World Inside featured a panel to discuss the ad. The ad was basically playing on a stereotype that black people around the world have been fighting hundreds of years to um, combat against, you know. And um, it's disappointing coming from a place like China when China has tried to uh, project itself as an, um, as an ally for black countries and people around the world. Mm. And um, to see something like this, like I said, it's um, very disappointing. Mm. Victor, what do you make of it? I mean, why would a company put on an advertisement now in the 21st century using racism in a way uh, stupidly in the advertisement? It is very hard to imagine someone would do that today, particularly in China. Indeed, I watched the replay of the commercial and I personally am completely disgusted. Uh, by the insensitivity. Appalled also by yes. someone who could do that. Indeed, uh, not only the insensitivity, but also the racism and the prejudice embodied in that commercial. Uh, I actually condemn this uh, commercial, and I don't think the company which released this commercial has apologized enough. Mm. Uh, this could actually uh, be tantamount to a hate crime. Mm. So I think uh, the uh, regulators and the investigators should really get into the bottom of this and also make sure that such uh, heinous uh, mistake will not be repeated in China. I detect, again, mm. there are all various cultural and uh, racial stereotypes that have a reason. And this actually goes against also the effort by the Chinese government and also the leaders to reach out. For example, 
the Chinese leadership in the 1950s were very mm -hmm. supportive of the civil rights movement in the United States. It also was very, very in the vanguard in supporting, in allying with African countries. Right. Uh, uh, so in that sense, actually, the leadership has been saying the right things, has been doing the right things. But at the same time, Chinese society is very diverse, uh, and people are not very shy about various stereotypes. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.